Germany. It's my country. Yeah. Very strange object. Yeah. And uh, had former times much proudness, and now it's more or less integrated in the world. What does it mean? Well, uh, I answer once more. Uh, Germany is my country, but it's not a unit. You see, uh, people in the north and the south are very different. Half we have been Roman, half barbarian, and still we had a very difficult position in the world in former times, and now we are better positioned. Yeah, more. But with a very heavy story, right? A huge story, yes. Yeah, bad story. Law. Law. <laughs> That's my profession. Yeah. Official. Only I learned is law. Yeah. Yes. I'm a lawyer. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. To write um, as anti-lawyer in literature. Yeah. You don't write like a lawyer. If you write literature, yeah, yes, it does not sound like uh, if I write as a lawyer. Yeah, but the discrepancy, yeah, the difference, yeah, this is poetry. Fritz Lang. Fritz Lang, is my teacher. Yeah, I admire this man. Yeah, and together with Sarah Morris in New York, yeah. I made a film, Mimosa Tank. Yeah? He called himself, he had the nickname, Mimosa, because he was vulnerable, like the Mimosa, the, the flower, yeah? and on the other side, reckless, like a tank, <laughs> like a char. But what did he teach you? What's wrong? What did he teach you? Um, an attitude of independence. Give me an example. Well, but um, he taught me more than this. Um, it, 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 an attitude. He came back from America. You see, he, he, he was emigrated during the Nazi time, and now he came back, and he started exactly where uh, in the a kind of filmmaking, of the independent filmmaking of the 20s yeah, uh, he had in Germany mm -hmm. yeah, uh, before. Uh, very strange for this uh, stupid film industry yeah, of these years. Yeah? Papa Skino. Yeah? And he taught us to be completely independent and creative and cinema for him is really art. An art which vanished in commercial cinema. Yeah. Surrounded, also, um, like Herculaneum in Pompeii, yeah? uh, pressed under the lava. Yeah? There is film history. That's the saying of a wording of Fritz Lang. Theodore Adorno. Adorno is, um, and the critical theory, yeah? is the theory I follow. I am a servant, yeah, a poetical servant uh, for this direction of thinking. But you happen to meet him. Uh, I don't know you met him. No, of course, I lived uh, in his surrounding. I was a lawyer of the Institute um, of Sozialforschung in Frankfurt, mm -hmm. where he taught. Yeah? Okay. And uh, um, they thought it's better I'm a lawyer, you see, yeah? because it's uh, superfluous yeah? after Proust to be a poet. Yeah? And therefore, he he's, uh, it was he who sent me to Fritz Lang. Yeah? Ah. But he wanted to, uh, to give me um, a Schutzimpfung, what is this? He should. A vaccine. Yeah, uh, as a vaccine against art, you see. Yeah? I should be rational and practical. And so, a good lawyer. Ah, wow, that's Just, interesting. Uh, From law to 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 Fritz Lang, few Adorno. Yes, that's and a good pedigree, no? And film to literature. Yeah. So it was you were a kind of protege of him. He liked you. 
well, yes, of course. I like him, you see. Yeah? Yes. And with his fine brown eyes, yeah, everybody will love him. But he is an extreme modern radical thinker. Yeah? And how did he happen to know Fritz Lang? Fritz Lang is not a thinker. Yeah, Fritz Lang is an artist. Yes. So how did it work between Adorno and Fritz Lang? They were friends. But they are like in completely different universes. Completely different. But you sh should imagine that Bert Brecht Fritz, uh, and uh, Adorno and his, his composer uh, Eis, Hans Eisler went arm in arm to the studios of Fritz Lang and wanted to write uh, uh, scripts. Wow. See, in Los Angeles during immigration. And um, well, they are more similar than one thinks. Yeah, But he called Fritz Lang his kitsch brother. Yeah? <laughs> brother in kitsch. Yes. Yeah. But uh, so you, you, you were extremely lucky to begin with all this background, right? Yes. Uh, well, it's... it's um, <clears throat> you see, on the pattern of this idea, of this thinking, yeah, you can invent new kind of literature. Yeah? You learn to leave out the big fiction. Yeah? Because everything what can be done in great rom romances yeah, is done. Tolstoy, Proust, yeah, Flaubert, yeah, everything is already uh, written. So? And now you can come to the elements in literature, yeah, uh, to start with new fragments. Our world is disruptive, and therefore everything is put into details, into fragments, yeah. And this is a new stuff, yeah, for poetry, yeah, and not the big uh, uh, stories. Narrative is both, yeah. Mm. This fragmented, uh, fra fragmented form, yeah. He personally uses in Minima Moralia, for instance. And therefore, because everything is fragmented in our times, yeah, and cannot be, be um, put together by plan, yeah, one has to uh, find out what's authentic, yeah. And then put together in yes. a kind of montage. What is authentic? Authentic, yeah. It's more like a bat would work. So that's it, interesting because it we makes sounds, yeah, and uh, follows the echo. It's a kind of poetry we make. That, that's interesting because William Kentridge, the artist, yeah. he spoke of history like that. He yeah. said we can't have. A linear yeah. history. No. We need to look at it like no. a puzzle. Right. It's the same story, right? Right. Absolutely. And all these who think like this do this is a contrary of planning of algorithms. Yeah. The algorithm is something very potent and very good, and in Silicon Valley you can look at it. Yeah. But it leaves out. Yeah. Something. Something is has to be left out. To have an algorithm, and we are the lawyers, yeah, <laughs> poets, yeah, for the anti-algorithm, yeah. Jean-Luc Godard. Well, this is our hero, yeah, and we followed um, a, a film deserteur, yeah, in uh, since 1958. Yes, but there was Nouvelle Vague, and there's after Nouvelle Vague, right? Yes, and we we had. Uh, uh, not so good like uh, the, the Nouvelle Vague, but for a longer time, for 20 years, with Fassbinder, Herzog, Schlendorf, myself, Heitz, etc. Yeah? And we continued to make these kind of films, and I still continue. I yes. made, uh, last year in Venice, I had um, a film there which is completely cinema deserteur. Yeah? Like uh, Godard uh, stays the same, see, in Cannes. And you, you have some relation with uh, Godard still or not? Do you speak to him? Yes, I made a film on him, an homage. Yeah. Oui. Yes. Um, blind love, it's called. Yeah? 
my love to him is blind. Wow, lucky him. Yeah. Hmm? Yes, because he's a special character, right? Yes, he's very yeah. He's a very Puritan, very uh, um, uh, strong character. Yeah. Eating versus filming, journalism versus art. Um, they all behave in public spheres. If these public spheres would be combined in cooperation, it would be much better. Yeah? I, th I don't think there's a real difference between Hemingway as a journalist and Hemingway as a poet. Yeah? Uh, it is often mixed. Yes. See? And literature must not be stupid. Yeah? And uh, um, journalism must not be superficial. And um, you could add the musicians. Yeah? I love, for instance, operas. They tell a lot of nonsense. Yeah? But they have an awful, overwhelming music. And all these kinds of art uh, could uh, belong, um, as a belong together. Cooperation. So there's no versus? Well, there's no idea of versus? No opposition between? Of course, of course. Each metier is cont a contradiction to the other. Yeah? Contradiction and non-contradiction? Uh, on the other's hand, yeah? Uh, because it's not um, a contradiction if we work together. See? Take the opera, you see. The wording, yeah, is completely different. In the stage construction, again, a uh, word for itself. Basel has made a uh, stage construction for the Pazival. Yeah? Yes. And he said, w what awful wording in, at Wagner, yeah? This strange religious word, wording and such a beautiful music. And he tries to rescue uh, the good music yeah, um, against Wagner. But you write and you, and you film. Yes. Is it another part of the brain or exactly the yes. same? Look, we all have a left and a right uh, side of the brain. And the right side understands uh, language but does not speak. It's a calm and very reliable part. And the other is very active, yeah? Yes. Always talking, see? Yeah? Well, if you look at us from the serious, yeah? From an alien, yeah? Mm -hmm. We would have like an eagle, yeah? Yeah? In the, in the weapon. Yeah? Yes. In, in, in button, in, in button. Like the double eagle uh, in Russia. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we had we would have two uh, minds. Yeah. And therefore, it's, that something is moving and has to do with music, like film. And the other is uh, fixed Autobots. and reliable. Yeah? Okay. And reliable for two thousand years, so that I can talk in the night with Ovid. Yeah. You see, this is literature. Okay. Books are reliable. Films are more vivid. Extremely young art. TV. That's a, a very uh, a, a difficult medium, you see, yeah, because it's, ad, it's a kind of administration of our feelings. Wow. Yeah? And um, they are the new sirens, yeah. They are now earlier than we have the, the libido, yeah. And they steal our libido and put it better than it is in our heart, yeah, against us and take money for that, yeah. I don't think that I love, yeah, such kind of sir, uh, sir, sirens. But you are, you are involved in TV, right? Yes, but uh, as a lawyer, yeah, together with friends and with Spiegel and uh, big newspapers. Yes. Uh, I got a license, yeah, a separate property within the big stations for 30 years, independent TV. And so you are broadcasting different programs that one can see, right? Yes, which would, would never be allowed in private TV. It is in private TV. And so what kind of thing are you showing? Well, for instance, operas, yeah? 3,000 operas we covered, yeah? 
and uh, um, uh, we would talk there in the way um, scientists talk with each other. Yeah, sounds very strange, very poetical, yeah? mm. very authentic. Yeah, and everything, um, all TV, especially the private TV, uh, homogenize yeah? um, the information. Yeah, they put it together on an average level yes. of talking. Yeah, and we do the contrary. Yeah, we take say, say um, like people talk really. Yeah. Uh, in extremes, yeah. And does your TV take the libido of the people? No, never, never. I give them a more whole stronghold, yeah. <laughs> <And> support. <laughs> Emotions. Well, emotion is the source of thinking, the source of, to be able to love. Yeah. Uh, emotion is the uh, capacity to make differences. Hot, cold, yeah. I love, I hate, yeah. There is a, an emotion of skin, mm -hmm. an emotion of diaphragm, yeah, which always cannot be uh, uh, gehindert. Cannot, uh, you have to laugh, you mm -hmm. see, yeah. The diaphragm decides, yeah. Or not love. And you have to love or, or not to love. Right, and that's the difference, it makes a difference. But it's all uh, um, emotion are everywhere. That's what you wrote, right? Yes, yes. I think that emotion is an animal within us. You see, a separate uh, human being, yeah? And we cannot command emotion. But generally, they show, for example, all the big warriors, like people who have no emotions. It, it, people with no emotion, I don't know. Uh, there are some sick persons, yeah? Uh, who have, um, uh, don't also you can be a human without a leg, you see? Yeah. Yes. And therefore, you can also be um, a, 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 a being with, a, with minimalized emotion. Yeah. If so, you shoot in the third, uh, in the Second World War, yeah, in Russia, yeah? yes, hundred people, yeah, you can suppose, yeah, that in this moment, yeah. Uh, he is not himself. If it's himself, yeah, he, he cannot shoot. do it. But don't you think 21st century tries to make people with no emotion in a way? Yeah, yeah. It's impossible for humans. Uh, take um, the story, uh, I made a film on it, of a um, high-ranking SS general. He led uh, the pelotons. Yeah, who shot people, and afterwards he got a, a, um, a cruel um, entzündung, um, hemorrhage, yeah, in the back. His conscience went to the back, where as a little child, yeah, he had to decide the difference, yeah, to shit, yeah, or not to shit. Yes, That's the question. Yeah? <laughs> and now he he it came back, yeah. So emotion is a winner, it always, yeah. And uh, but it's uh, the best would be an equilibrium, yeah, uh, between emotion. Emotion should not govern us like Othello, yeah. Uh, we should not govern emotion. We should behave like with a child, with a, with a, another human. You see? And uh, but um, emotion is decisive, and therefore my book is named yeah, uh, Coronator of Emotions. I I watch a documentary where where Jean-Luc Godard is speaking, and he says the only real human beings are the kids and the older the older people. Yes. Because yes. of emotion, you think yes. he said that? Yes. And emotion is something which uh, I share with others. Yeah? Uh, my emotion, there is my sister in, my mother in, my children in, yeah? my friends in, even that Adorno or um, uh, 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 Müller beispielsweise, yeah? uh, my friend, is a poet, yes. a dramatist, yeah? yes. Heiner Müller, yeah? uh, he, he suddenly t t starts to talk. 
and he and he does nothing to see. But I see, I saw that your sister was named Alexandra. Yeah. So you have a collection of Alexandre in yeah. your family. Yes. They had no other idea, the assumed parents. Yeah. My, my mother is called Alice, yeah? Oui. And uh, there was no name, uh, 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 male name for Alice. And your father? Ernst, Ernest. Okay. Yeah? And uh, I'm called Ernest Alexander, yeah? Okay. But nobody could call this guy, yeah, who was not Ernest. <laughs> yeah? Ernest. No, but that's funny that your sister and you have almost the same name, right? Yeah. Three. <clears throat> well, since Proust we know, yeah, that memory is the second source, yeah, of um, uh, poetry, but um, you have uh, the river Lete, that's the river of forgetting in Orcus, yeah, and the river Nemozune. This is memory. But you, w doing all your books and all your filming, you want to settle a memory in a way. Yes, yes, to deal with memory. Yeah, it's also necessary to forget. Yeah, you cannot bear like a, like a lexicon. Yeah, um, all you know and all you are touched by. Yeah, with you. Yeah. There's a lot of selection. If you write a text, you see, yeah? yes. you leave out. And what you leave out is poetry, and what you put in is poetry. And therefore, you cannot only uh, say um, memory. That would be circus. <laughs> <laughs> so memory is as important as forgetting? Of course. Uh, memory is uh, important, uh, but it should be a memory of 4,000 years or more, you see? And it should be also the memory of certain minutes, yeah? For instance, in the Third Empire, you that must not forget certain minutes, yeah? And take nowadays re still revenge and be still cautious. So you have memory of a second and memory of eons. Next dream. Next dream? I cannot govern my dreams. I don't know what dream will come. Yeah, but um, cooperation is one of my uh, uh, dreamingly feeling. You see, uh, I become courageous. Yeah, together with others. <laughs> it, probably it concerns some some relation to your ego too. I have a strong ego inherited from my parents. Yeah? They are two di quite different uh, egos, c contrasts, contradictional persons. Yes. And I have in them within me, you see? And therefore, uh, I love yeah, uh, to uh, exchange with others, yeah? uh, not uh, to overtake anything from them, yeah? but together as a chorus, yeah? it sounds good. Yeah? As a soloist, yeah, I get bored. I'm 87 years old, yeah, and would be bored if I only could listen to myself. So the chorus has, are with bass leads, with uh, Kiefer, with Sarah Maurice, you said? Yes, Kerstin Brecht from New York. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, 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 Katharina Grosse. Yes. Yeah. I love her, yeah. And uh, she made for me, for my next exhibition on opera, yeah, uh, she made six marvelous stages. Yeah? And I can project into the um, cloth yeah, she arranged. Yeah? Where shall it be? In Ulm, Stuttgart and Halberstadt, my home city. Okay. But it will, it will wander. Yeah? When, when shall it be? At the 20th October. Yeah, it starts in Ulm. Mm -hmm. In November, it continues in Stuttgart im Württembergischen Kunstverein. Merci beaucoup.